Now that the party is jumping With the bass kick in and the figures are pumping Hey, it's 2014, getting older, getting wiser <laughs> Yeah, not really I kind of started the year with a 90s party And that made me think I've done some really embarrassing things in the 90s Maybe you've done them too but I would like to share my top 5 list of embarrassing things I've done in the 90s with you. Number 5! I've made some really bad Euro Trash music with a friend of mine. No, actually the music wasn't that bad. It, it was more like the, the whole genre was bad. The music itself, I think we did pretty well with the technique that we had. So listen to it and judge yourself. What do you think? Job material? <laughs> Number four, I've bleached my hair really blonde and really short cut. Yeah, that's not embarrassing at all, is it? But if you do it with four other friends and you all go to the same movie at the cinema and you all look the same, it was actually a Star Trek movie and we all looked a bit like aliens. Have a look. Yeah, now I imagine four other friends. People stared at us. Like, yeah, like we were aliens. Number three, I was a big Vanilla Ice fan and I still know the lyrics by heart. Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. My God, I was such a gangster back then in the village with like 500 people that lived there. It was brutal there, I can tell you. Like, you know, you had to fight your way through the three other guys that lived there. I'm still scared. Like these dark corners in the village back then. That's why I reached out to Vanilla Eyes and listened to the songs and became a real gangster. Word to your mother. Now that the party is jumping, with the bass kick in and the figures are pumping, quick to the point, to the point, no fake, in a cooking them seeds like a pound of bake. Number two, we did some kind of wrestling, like professional wrestling in the attic of a church building. You know, they always say kids don't try this at home. We totally just ignored all these kind of things. We went up there like once a week, practiced. No one broke a bone ever. It didn't even hurt anyone. Uh, maybe that one time I punched him in the face and, you know, really hit him hard. So at some point, at some point, we even worked out scripts for whole matches, designed characters, really awful characters, and did some kind of a, a video back then already. So. This is me, Beastie Boy versus Bim Bam the Mouse Bino. Kids, don't do this at home. And number one. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Seriously. Um. I've done the whole crisscross thing and I even went to school wearing my clothes backwards. The jeans, the shirts, it looked stupid and I have no idea why I did it. I didn't do it very long and there were several reasons but this one is one of them. Are uh, you wearing your jeans backwards? Yes, yo, wiggly mac, crisscross, we all jump, jump! I have no idea what you just said, but isn't it inconvenient to sit on the buttons? Yeah, that's why we jump! And how do you go to the toilet? Well, it's that, that's easy, you know? I just... Uh... 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 Apart from the fact that it looks stupid, it was just not practical. There was no reason to wear your clothes like that. They weren't designed like that. And if you still wear them like that, don't do it. It's much better to just you know, be able to pee, open, zipper. Well, he taught me one thing, not to follow blindly any marketing hype. And then came Apple. Screw them. So now I told you my embarrassing stories from the 90s, so what have you done? And if you did the whole crisscross thing, let me know. We might need to talk. I, I will never forget this. Never. <laughs>